Rapper and actress Cardi B declined to lend her endorsement to President Biden's 2020 for re-election. Effort, citing recent public service cuts in New York City and the state's provision of resources to Israel and Ukraine in an Instagram live on Saturday. The Bronx-born director, who endorsed Biden in 2020, compared budget cuts in her hometown to the United States providing aid to war efforts in Ukraine and Israel. New York City Mayor Eric Adams announced major budget cuts last week across all city agencies and departments including city schools, public libraries, police, and sanitation departments. The city said the reason behind the budget cuts was due to the ongoing migrant crisis in the city. In New York, there is a budget cut of $120 million. There is a $120 million budget cut in New York that will affect schools, public libraries, and the police department. You know I don't care about cops, but that's the way it is. The rapper, whose real name is Belcullis Marlinas Almanzar Cephas, said during her Instagram live, there will be a $120 million cut to the budget for schools, libraries, cops, and the police department. And a $5 million cut to the sanitation budget. We're going to be drowning in rats. We're going to be drowning in rats. So we're going to cut our budget on this crap, Cardi B said. New York City officials said the city's Department of Education will be cut by $547 million this fiscal year and $600 million next year. Cardi B also criticized the Biden administration, questioning how the U.S. could send aid to fund to wars while New York City departments and agencies lost their budget. I'm not in favor of no chiefs anymore. Because how come New York City's budget is cut by $100 million for schools, the library, police safety and sanitation, Cardi B said. However, Joe Biden says, yes, we can finance to wars. We are able to finance to wars, he says. We don't have it, but we have it. And we are the greatest nation. No, we are not. We're going through some shit right now. I continued. Cardi B's comments come at a time when Biden has lost popularity among young voters in some recent opinion polls. And while he has faced backlash from young Americans and activists over his handling of the war between Israel and Hamas, the two countries went to war last year, with Russia invading Ukraine in February 2022, and the Hamas militant group launching a surprise attack on Israel last month. The number of police patrols on the streets is expected to decrease from 33,541 to about 29,000, which is the lowest number of police personnel since the 1990s, Patrick Hendry, chairman of the Police Benevolent Association, said. The police have already reached breaking point, and these cuts will take us back to staffing level. As not seen since the crime epidemic of the 1980s and 1990s, we can't go back there. We need all levels of government to work together to find a way to support police officers and protect 30 years of progress in public safety. We're going to be drowning in rats. We're going to be drowning in rats. So we're going to cut our budget on this crap, Cardi B said.